Travelers may have to stand or idle in line a bit longer to get into Canada this Friday as roughly 9,000 employees at the border are preparing for job action over negotiations for a new contract. We have been working for three years plus now without a collective agreement. Uh, we've worked all throughout the pandemic. Union president in Fort Erie, Gus Contagana, says a strike notice was issued this week and a new bargaining agreement must be met by 6 a.m. Friday or sweeping actions will be taken not just at land borders, but airports, shipping ports and postal facilities. At the Peace Bridge this morning, demonstrators rallied in front of the crossing. Workers are demanding better wages and protections for staff that the union argues would bring them on par with other law enforcement nationwide and the need to address a toxic workplace culture. Canada Border Services Agency tells CHCH News 90% of frontline officers are essential, meaning they will continue to offer essential services if there is a strike. The news comes as Canada is set to welcome back American visitors who are fully vaccinated next Monday. If there's, you know, an influx of Americans that want to come up to Canada, then traffic volumes will go up. I think there, I think there will be delays and it could be, it, it could be significant, yes. Contagana says he expects commercial traffic to be most impacted. Contagana says that talks continue today, but workers will be in position to strike this Friday if a deal isn't reached then. He also says uh, workers, uh, the union could call for workers to uh, work to rule, meaning uh, they will stay on, but they will only be able to meet the minimum job requirements.